Hello guys! So today for our activity in honor of Mother Earth, we're making some leaf paintings. So the first step is to go for a walk and collect some leaves. That's me and my mom going for a walk. And I chose to collect leaves from five different trees. And remember, you don't want to rip off that many leaves because you don't want to hurt the tree, but one or two will do. And this is also really nice because it was a sunny day and I got to explore my neighborhood a little and there are so many different sizes of leaves, different textures, colors. I had a lot of fun checking out what the leaves in my neighborhood look like. So next, when you get home, spread out some newspaper or a towel so you don't make a mess because we're going to be painting. And you're going to need a sheet of white paper. In addition, you're going to need some watercolors, a brush with which to paint the watercolors, and you're also going to need some water in order to clean off your brush. And just in case you make any messes or need to pat your brush dry, a paper towel. Last but not least, you need the leaves that you collected earlier. So I'm going to take those out of the bag, all five different kinds of leaves. As you can see, when they're laid out next to each other, they really do look quite different. So now once you have all of your materials ready, a bunch of mine are off camera to the side, we're going to start with our watercolors. We're going to wet our brush and dip it in one of the colors. And then we're going to pick up a leaf and paint the entire front side of the leaf with your watercolor. Make sure it's completely colored. You don't want too many gaps. It's okay if it gets on your fingers or the newspaper, that's why the newspaper is there. Now once your leaf is completely painted, the next step is to press it onto your paper, make sure it's pressed nice and tight, and when you lift it, you'll have a leaf print. So I'm washing my brush off, changing to a different color, and I'm going to repeat this step, painting my leaves and pressing them down on the paper wherever I want for all of my leaves in whatever design until I have a full page. So I was doing this pretty randomly, any color you want. Obviously these aren't classic leaf colors, it's not just green. And what I really like about this is you really get to see all the different textures of the leaves when you press it down on the paper. So as you can see with this bigger leaf, it has a lot of ridges on the edges. And we really get to see that with the paint. So I'm just finishing up my last leaf here with a nice hot pink color. So once that's all done, it's time to decorate the rest of your page. So I just threw down some splatter and you can do this by hitting the brush off your finger. Splatter in whatever color you want. And next, I added some blots with the brush along with the splatter. It kind of happened accidentally, to be honest, but I kind of liked it, so I added some more. You can also add some swirls. You just don't have to do splatter, so I added some brown swirls in there. Maybe that's a branch. coming out of the corners, coming out of the leaves. Just be creative. You can even add some thicker lines. I demonstrated one in the top corner. And that's it. You have completed a leaf painting. And I think these are really beautiful and very personalized. And I want you to be as creative as possible. So I hope you guys enjoy this activity and enjoy seeing Mother Earth.